Hi guys. It is a just a nasty fucking slit your fucking wrist depressing yuck winter night and uh here in the end times and uh this is kind of part two to that little whine that I had last night, you know, about being one fucking step away from slitting my fucking throat. Just wondering what in the fuck kind of mess have I made with my life. So what I did last night, you know, to cheer myself up after getting depressed on pile of fish, uh, I decided to go over to Netflix to go over to Netflix and, you know, and look for just some mindless light entertainment. And I saw the number one recommendation was this documentary, which I did not realize when I was getting into it, was a four, good God, four to five hours, a five-part documentary called The Devil Next Door. Ah... Uh, Oh, did I say it is now Wednesday night, November 13, 2019? So anyway, you know, to get my mind off of uh, how fucked we are, how fucked I am in my own teeny-weeny little personal life, and how fucked humanity and the planet is, uh, so I decide to go distract myself over in at Netflix to get my mind off how fucked we are and uh, I get sucked down into this rabbit hole and I highly recommend this excellent documentary called The Devil Next Door and it's about uh, I'm, I'm not going to give any spoilers or anything go watch it yourself what it's about is about uh, Ivan the Terrible uh, he was one of these goddamn, you know, evil motherfucker uh, gas chamber monsters who, uh, you know, who killed somewhere, depending on how you do the math, somewhere between 28,000 and 850,000 people. Uh, this evil motherfucker uh, killed, uh, you know, during the Holocaust. And, you know, then he came over here. He just moved to the U.S. and went to work at the Ford plant in, uh, I guess, in Cleveland, Ohio, and just hid out with all of his fucking Nazi buddies as the U.S. Immigration Service just welcomed all of these goddamn uh, Nazis to come over here and go to work at Ford and run NASA you know, the head of NASA, he was one of these big Nazis, uh, one of Hitler's henchmen. Uh, anyway, so this guy, you know, he lives over here and raises his family and whatnot, just being an upstanding American citizen. So anyway, this whole documentary is about the trial, all of the twists and turns of trying to hang this evil motherfucker and uh, you know they do an excellent job I, I really do have to give some kudos to Netflix uh, for several of their documentaries and I highly encourage it but what's nice about it is because you know they don't take a side really they do a pretty good job about being you know somewhat quote objective and you can decide for yourself how guilty this guilty motherfucker is and uh, what punishment he deserves, you know, and it, and it dredges up all of this stuff. And so, I, you know, I'm thinking of what my review is going to sound like uh, about this. And really, guys, the, the ultimate, uh, the, the, the ultimate, uh, 
thing you can say after watching this four to five hour documentary is that everybody is a fucking scumbag. That humans are just scumbags. I mean, it doesn't matter which side you try to get on. Uh, whether you're on the prosecution, whether you're on the defense, whether you're on the cops, whether you're on the criminals, uh, you know, I guess with the possible exception uh, of these people, uh, every single person in this entire documentary is a fucking scumbag. It's a bunch of, uh, of, of lying, sneaky, cowardly sacks of shit. Uh, self-aggrandizing, narcissistic, attention-grabbing whores uh, on every single level, every single person uh, doing whatever they need to do to promote their agenda uh, with a, a, a reckless uh, disregard uh, for, for the facts or anything else that, that everybody involved uh, in, in this whole sordid tale is, is a fucking scumbag human. Uh, the devil next door uh, you know, it could be the, the motherfucker living next door to you. Uh, it could be your husband. Hell, it could be your wife. Uh, I, I, I'm sure there's people like this motherfucker all over pile of fish right now. Uh, what it is is, you know, just an indictment uh, on the entire fucking human race. We're, we're a b bunch of fucking just evil blood-sucking parasite scumbags, and we need to fucking go. You, you know, uh, every goddamn one of us is the devil next door. Uh, that nobody uh, w w wants to take a goddamn bit of responsibility. Uh, I, I mean, th this, this documentary on every single level, whether it was intentional or unintentional, just pretty much dredges up every single thing about fucking humans to uh, illustrate why we're a bunch of fucking evil devils next door uh, that, that need to get loaded in the goddamn gas chamber. It's time for us to fucking go. And then, of course, you know, being a doomer, and looking at uh, and and looking at all of this footage, you know, from these death camps, which I'm about fifty percent sure that YouTube is going to rip down uh, this video. My guess is that that if I get one video ripped down in 2019, it's going to be this one by showing a a scene from Netflix. That's all over Netflix. Uh, for me, showing this picture from Netflix, I'm going to get this video pulled down. Uh, you know, uh, because nobody wants to, uh, to face the fucking horror of, of, of humanity. This is humanity. This is not sub-Saharan Africa. This is Honkyville. You know, I, I am one-fourth German, and I've said many times, you know, my family got the fuck out of Germany in uh, 1932 because they saw what the fuck was coming, and they weren't even Jews. Uh, my family understood that damn well in 1932 what was shaping up in Germany. They got their fucking honky asses over here to the safe side. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. But of course, you know, being a doomer and, and the overlay that we get to have is looking at all of these pictures. I mean, this absolute horror of uh, the, these photographs. 
you know, from, uh, good Lord, what is it now, 70, 80 years ago, I'll say, call it 75 years ago, and we know goddamn well that you take the most horrific images from uh, the death camps uh, in Nazi Germany, and they're not going to hold a fucking candle to what's coming down the pike on this planet. Uh, you, you take this image here, uh, this image here it, it is going to look like a goddamn bad hair day to what is coming down the goddamn pike. And this is why uh, I, I am just praying as close as I get to fucking prayer uh, that I'm going to get out of this, this goddamn shit show uh, with the screen door barely hitting me on my own guilty honky ass on my way out. And so once again, I am, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask that my alien overlords to let me go lie down, uh, in, in my empty, filthy bed, uh, and never wake up. That, that is the one wish I have uh, in my fucking life is to fucking die by tomorrow morning because I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the whole fucking shit show. I'm sick and tired of I've been in, I've been sitting in this fucking room. I have been in this eight by ten foot cell. Uh, let's see for 38 straight hours. In 38 hours, I might have been out of this prison cell for maybe 30 minutes if you add it all up. I have not been more than 50 feet from this chair. Uh, I, I am just a prisoner uh, in my own fucking house. I'm a prisoner in my own fucking mind. Uh, I'm a prisoner down here in this goddamn shithole called the fucking Doomosphere. I regret the fucking day I ever I got sucked down into this goddamn rabbit hole. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just praying for the goddamn courage to pull myself out of it. Get the fuck out of this whole fucking doomosphere and, and, and start a new life in, uh, in, in goddamn New York next summer. Leave this fucking chapter uh, of my whole sick, twisted joke of a fucking life. Flush it down the fucking toilet and, 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 and try to, you know, to, to try to rediscover just the tiniest bit of joy for the last few years of my worthless fucking life. Trying to, you know, try to get out there and, uh, and, 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 and close my eyes to the goddamn horror uh, out there. Get, get a goddamn girlfriend in my life. Grow a fucking garden. Be a goddamn snowbird. Anyway, looks like the margarita's about... Winding up, let me go find my goddamn sleeping pills and, and go uh, have sweet dreams about the devil next door. I would say lock your fucking doors. Mad Max is on the way. Anybody who wants to know what fucking Mad Max is going to look like, I highly recommend you go over to Netflix and watch The Devil Next Door. We're so fucked. We deserve every fucking thing we have coming to us. The sooner, the better. Bye, guys.